Good afternoon, everyone. In many ways, President Zelensky is a modern day Braveheart. His courage and the bravery of the Ukrainian people have inspired all of us. And he challenged Congress today and he challenged our country that if you want to be a leader of the world, you have to be the leader of peace, the leader of peace. But you can't obtain peace if you're leading from behind. President Reagan said it, President Eisenhower before him, we obtain peace through strength. We need the president, our president, as well as Europe to step up and, and lead. Right now we have less than 1,000 troops outside of European borders engaged in this, but 102,000 American troops are engaged with this right now. We have the ability to show more compassion, to give more humanitarian aid, and I want to do all those things that are humanly possible. And I look forward to joining Senator Ernst in our, in our uh, trip over to Poland and Germany this week and seeing troops from the Big Red One, the 1st Infantry Division of Fort Riley, Kansas. And by the way, we're taking some homemade Twinkies for them. There is so much more that we, we could do. So many things short a boots on the ground and American pilots in the air. We can arm Ukrainians, as my colleagues have talked about, getting their, their MiG-29s. I think we could get them some of the A-10s that we're going to mothball. We could get those to them as well. I think that they have pilots that could do it. But our sanctions have to be real. Right now, our president is just shouting in the wind that he's not really following through with tough sanctions. And specifically what I'm talking about is the Biden sanctions on financing of Russian energy don't go in effect until June 24th. Now, some people have told me that the Russian economy is 25% energy dependent. Maybe it's 50% energy dependent. It's great that we're going to embargo the oil on its way, but there's so much more we could do short of boots on the ground. Once again, our president is late to act. And I would just promise America this, that, you know, as a physician, I had to give life and death advice every day. I'm not going to make any type of recommendations or decisions based upon emotions uh, this, this body behind me has spent hours discussing this issue, and we're going to continue to have uh, Ukrainian it, it first and foremost, but also the safety of our soldiers and of our pilots as well. We'll do what we can su to support U Ukrainian people and President Zelensky. Thank you so much. Good round.